Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back, Double D Vintage Baseball Cards. My name is Dylan, and I'm going to be your host tonight. Uh, I have been looking forward to this moment for a long time. And the cards that I got graded, um, I have not looked at. I did not look online. I actually, since I know how fast they come back, I decided to wait. And if you guys know anything about, any of you guys have graded cards before, um, it's one of the funnest things you could ever do. It's basically, it's basically like right now I'm going to be opening up the greatest packs of baseball cards ever in history. And to see some of your cards you've had forever ungraded or even new ones you bought, it's so exciting. So anyone who hasn't done this, especially on SGC, because that's the only experience I know of, I've sent them to P cards of PSA, but it was through people. But I'm very new at grading cards myself um, as of this year. But I've been obsessed with uh, doing it, and it's so fun. So I went through my binders. I'm not sure if I'm going to play that video. Maybe I'll do a quick spin of it. And I pulled out 31 cards I think I pulled out 32, but then ended up can't not doing one. Um, and I have all the cards here, and I have my grades on them. Some of them have been, you know, graded my grades for a long time. So I don't know how accurate I'm going to be, where obviously PSA and SGC have gotten stricter. I've also gotten stricter myself. So when cards come in, um, so it's going to be fun to see. And I'm freaking psyched on this. I'm so pumped. It's it's the day, it's the 26th. It's the, no, it's two days after Christmas. What day is it? I don't even know what day it is. It is Tuesday, or it is Monday. No, Tuesday, because the post office is open. Tuesday, because yesterday the post office was open. So two days after Christmas, and I have saved these guys. They've been burning a hole, so I'm super pumped. So let's just get right into them. I don't want to waste any time because there's 31 cards here, and we'll just go after it. So here we go. We'll do the little box first. I, I have I have no idea what grades these are, so I'm just psyched. Oh, let me get this one out of the way. Put that here. And I'm hoping there's like a Bowman Chrome pack in here they're giving away. That would be awesome in one of these. No Bowman Chrome pack. So what I'll do is I'll pull this thing. Tuxedo sticker. That's sick. I'm going to put that on one of the uh, things. They're getting real wise with their marketing. So I made some. My wife made me a design right here. Got my new design. I got got some stickers made for myself to put up and send out to some friends and whatnot. So super stoked on this. Just it matches my 75 tops Robin Yunt. Um, oh, man, I should have brought it out, but I will show you guys a picture of it i'll shoot it up in the corner right here bam this next to the robin yunt and my wife's uh was just so epic we just spent one day and started building it and she does everything that you know she's she she actually ended up loving it um at first she's like oh i'll just do it but man i'm so stoked so just for fun just to have i really am enjoying having my own youtube channel and it's like in my own television show so look what I get to do. So put the order over here. Oh, man, let's get after it. So no bad news in this one. Everything looks graded. Um, I'm going to try and remember all these cards, too. So we'll just go in reverse. Let me uh, zoom you guys in. Okay, and I'm using headphones. So it's something new. So if I'm really loud, just turn it down. I'm not really sure how this is all going to turn out. I bought a new camera for my... Um, computer and a new uh, speaker to talk into, but I'm still working on the, the whole thing, hitting some road bumps. All right, here we go. All right, so what's cool about this also is that I'd say 50% of these are for my personal collection, and 50% of these are or more are going to be up for sale as auctions or buy it nows, depending on how I how I want to do them. Um, but a lot of these will be auctioned off within the next two weeks. I'm going to list these bad boys. So that's another, uh, you know, if you guys are interested in any of these, check them out. Okay, here we go. What do we got here? Oh, this is the Yaz rookie. Okay, well, let me see if I can get these things in order here before we go, before I get too deep. Because maybe they kept them in order I gave them. 
not sure. Okay, so here's the Yaz. Okay, so the Yaz, I wanted a, I said it was a 4.5, 1960. I'm gonna take this off. I'm gonna take these off so we can get a good view of them. Look at that back, is sick. Five! Woohoo, baby! Oh, man! Look at that! That's sick! A five! Man! Good eye appeal! Wow! I, I feel, I made, when I made the original video, when I pulled this out of the uh, thing, I, I was thinking I was going to sell this one because I have another one and I just sold off another one, I, a, a different one I had. But seeing this in the slab, this looks really nice. I think I'm still gonna sell it. I'm gonna compare it to the one I got. It's a little different printing color, so I kinda like, it's like two versions. Man, sick, a five. I can look at that card all day. This is gonna take forever, guys. Yee five. All right, so I was right there, 4.5, five. Check, plus one. Put that up right there. Nice. That's super cool. You know what? I'm going to lay that guy down. Kind of look at him. All right. Will, Willie Mays, 1968. Oh, sick. It's in order. Oh, no. It's not in order. Let's see it. Let me grab it. 68. Man, I really should have got these. Well, how was I supposed to know? I'm just like opening them up. 1968. Well, it'll go faster once I... Uh, all right, here we go. Here it is. Now, I think I had two of these, if I'm not mistaken, but I might have had one. Willie Mays, I, I graded a five. Four, so negative. So now I'm back. I'm back to even. Oh, yeah, I was a little nervous about this right here. No creases in that thing. It's just, you know, it's a, it's, it's a loved card, really nice. Um... This will be up for sale. I have quite a few of these. So this one's out of here. Four, so I'm back to even right there. That's sick though. What a beautiful card. So nice. All right. Throw that guy up right there. Over one of my Christmas gifts that I'm going to talk about in another video. All right, we got a Mickey Mantle. This is the 62. Let's see, where is that one? 62. I think it's the one where there's three... It's a three panel card, 62. This is gonna take a while, guys. Here we go, four. 4.5, yes! Awesome, plus 0.5. I love half grades, because that means they can't decide which way to go with it and if they're going up it, it just seems like hey this is this is what you want to do right here 4.5s love it i've been buying so many 4.5s lately i haven't found any 4.5s with creases so with sgc which is pretty cool you know something you really kind of just dig into as you go you, even though it says on their site you still like sometimes they say things and then you'll find things in psa and sgc of course but Stunning. Six. Okay, I'm up another half point. We'll put that guy up. Oh, no, he's a sideways card. All right. Put the sideways ones right, right down there. Okay, next card. Oh, Willie Mays, 62. Let's see. Willie Mays, 62. I got this one coming in at a 4.5. That's nice looking. Love that back. Look at that thing. I wouldn't want to keep all these cards. <laughs> a three. What did I say? 4.5. So I was way off. Must just got hit with the color. And it, it's a well-loved card. I just thought because the eye appeal. Mine was like an eye appeal grade. <laughs> you know, it's so hard on these. So, you, you know, those rounded corners. Yeah, okay. Three it is. It makes sense. Totally makes sense. You know, you look at the card again. I didn't go back through these. Like I said, some of these I've had for a long time and I graded them years back and I, I have no idea which ones I did unless I looked. So, all right, well, three, I'll take it. Wow, what a nice three though, right? Like I'll take threes all day long that look like this. All right, drink break.
All right, good run so far. Oh, this one's sick right here. Luis Aparicio, 59 All-Star. Where are you? Well, here it is. What did I grade it to you? This one's really nice eye appeal. I'm keeping this one 100% for my collection. I think that mantle might stay in mine. A 5.5. Look at this. This is the one I pulled out of a League, leader, League Leaders repacked box. I just had a blast opening those things. I love doing those. And actually, uh, Justin sent me a box too to open uh, a Christmas box. So I'm going to do that on my show too. 6.5. Yeah. Woo. So when this card, when I pull it out of that repackage pack, it looked like a seven to me instantly. But then once I dug into it, you know, it, it got a little, you know, I lowered it. So look, I'm up another point. It's funny, right? So it's not too hard to grade these things. You know, you give or take one point and you're in the money because trust me, you send these cards in again and you're going, you could be going up and down in one point, no problem with any of these guys. Great eye appeal, nice and centered. Love these designs from 59. The Sporting News All-Stars are just spectacular cards. Oh, so stoked. I feel like I'm just crushing it right now. Yeah, I got the three but and a four. But man, these guys are the big ones, the big bombers right there. Those are what matter. Okay, here we go. RBI leaders right here. This one I pulled out of the pack too. The only thing I could see taking it down was be the back. I pulled out of another league leaders pack. And that is this RBI's Leaders, 1968 Tops, number four. And it's got Yaz, Harmon Kilbrew, and Frank Robinson. And I graded it in, a, I think, an eight. Yeah, I graded it in eight. So let's see. Back looks really good. Look at the back right there. So cool. RBI's Leaders has all the names. 7.5. Woo! Man, I tell you, league leaders, I, I am really stoked on these grades coming back in those boxes I opened. Thank you. I mean, that was a blast. Look at that. That is a really beautiful car, that one. I have this one that looks just like this, and it's an 8. It's a CTA 8. I've had it for ages. So I, I think I'll probably keep this one and sell the other one or crack the other one open. I'm not sure, but since I pulled this in a pack... This will go in my collection. Really sick card. Triple, you know me. Woohoo! Combo card, love. Oh my gosh, these cards just get better and better. Look at this card right here. 64 tops, Ernie Banks. This one is a collection card. I don't expect the grade to be very good on it. I think a three. Let me see, I have it right here. I had a four, and that's based off eye appeal. This thing's worn, so this could easily be a three. But it's really good eye appeal. And it's been in my collection and I love it. 3.5. So I was right there. I set a four. And just the eye appeal on this card. There are no creases in it. Um, just got those corners. Look at that. Stunning card. Perfectly centered. As good as I need ever. Look at that. All these cards look really nice. Now we're going to have to start replacing some of these. Oh, we got a couple more sideways cards. Fit right there. Okay. We have so many more cards to go, you guys. I <laughs> uh, hope you guys can handle it. This might be a two-hour video. All right. Next one. Rip this cover off. You know, I have... Oh, only a couple of map covers. Good. I forgot. Only top and bottom. 66 tops. Hank Aaron card, one of his lesser appealing cards. And I graded this one. Oh, man. At least these are, they're getting less over here. Here we go. Graded this a 3.5. And I got, this is going to be an off-centered three. Boom. There we go. Really nice color, really nice, like, picture but it's you know it's off centered it's worn on the sides it's seen some love 
but wow, it looks good in this case. That's nice looking. Three, okay, so I was off by 0.5. Doing really, really good. Proud of myself, actually. Okay, cover up Jackie Robinson. Boom. Okay, next box, you guys. And that's not even broke yet. Have not broke the seal. Right now, I'm telling you guys, I'm all about this. This is so much fun. I wish I had card shows that I could go to to buy raw cards because grading cards, this is like the most thrilling and exciting thing ever. I mean, when you get like a 6.5 or something or a, this 5 Yaz, it's like, gosh, and it looks so good in this tux. Can't lie. Every time I get these, <laughs> it's a rush. All right, let's slay this thing before you guys are gone. Uh, it's all right. Uh, no packs of Bowman? No. Why not? I was really hoping for him. But you know what? When you order a lot, you get a box, which is awesome. And I got two cool boxes. I got a miniature box and a big box. So I'm psyched. I got my SGC sticker. All right. So the backs. So oh, backs are. Yes. Gabe chose right. Holy smokes. Okay. Look at this top one, the greatest leaders card of all time. Um, if you history based leaders card of all time, let me put it that way. And I sold, I have one, I had one in a PSA six that was off center. I just sold it uh, like a week ago. So this is perfect timing. I had one raw, so that's why I wasn't too, didn't really care if I sold it. And it was off centered. Really nice color, but it's off-centered. So this one's off-centered too, and I'll probably sell this one. Um, even though I've had this in my collection, I, I I, want a really nice centered copy. So you know what? I probably won't sell this because it's really not worth selling if it's a low price point because I don't think this is going to get a high grade. Um, 62. So this card has Roger Maris and Mickey Mantle going for the home run chase in 1961. So it's a 61... Um, stats and i don't know where the thing is oh here it is boom so i thought it was going to be a 4.5 okay it's going to look really nice but off center bam four okay right there look at that look at that roger maris looks like he might have partaked in some party favors right there <laughs> wow super sick card look at that roger mayer 61 home runs 1961 i mean it's just so cool it's awesome so four did good stoked that's what i, I called 4.5 so I'll, I'll take it um i'm gonna replace willie mays getting downgraded all right, I'm going to put this stack right here. Just going to look at those. Let's see what's coming next. Right there. All right. I'm just going to try and flip them and go a little faster for you guys. Oh, my gosh. Look at that beautiful card. 1963 tops, Willie Mays. I think I had that coming back at a four, actually. And where is it? There it is. Yes, I did. Four. Four. Bingo. I appeal for really nice. I have this in a PSA 5. Um, but this is perfectly centered. And I'm not selling my Willie Mays cards right now. Except for one that's online. And I just put a higher price. Um, but I'm not going to be selling this right now. But man, that's a sick one. All right, I'm not going any faster. Sorry, you guys. I'm trying, but, whoa, dude, I just enjoy this too much. I don't want to rush it. If I was by myself, I'd be taking even longer. All right. Oh, next card's awesome. Oh, okay. 1933 Gaudi, George Grantham. I pulled this in a pack. This is a repackaged card that was inserted into 2006 Goody Upper Deck cards. 
and their mini cards are awesome. Uh, this was a very low grade. This is for me, for my collection to keep. I had this at a two, got it right here. And 2.5, so perfect. Plus five. Oh my gosh, that looks good. I knew it would look good. I wanted to display it, and you know what? I do love what graded cards look like displayed on my wall, so no shame. Oh, that's awesome. That's sick. Man, what can I take down? I'm going to cover Willie Mays right here because that's actually a nice looking card of Willie Mays. You know what? I'm going to cover League Leaders. There we go. Oh, next one. Here's another one Jim Elliott. This is me and my friend. 1933 Gaudi, another one that we pulled in the 2006 Gaudi up, Upper Deck cards, or the Gaudi Upper Deck cards. Um, I, I showed one in another video that was still how we pulled it, and it was it was our, still packaged just like they had it within a regular pack of normal cards. So this, and this is when we pulled this, we thought we got like, they, we thought we won the lottery. Yeah, look at this, we, look at this card, and then we pull it, and it was Jim Elliott. So we always... We're like, dude, you just got Jim Elliotted. Everything for like 10 years we talked about this. So this card means so much to me. Brought it over to me, my buddy Danny, who is on my wall right here. This guy brought this over to me right here. That's me. That's him. And I wanted to get it slabbed up and put on my wall. We actually, all of our passwords back in the day were Jim Elliott at the house because we lived together for a long time. Okay, here we go. Uh, super low grade collector three yes really nice eye appeal uh wow that's awesome that's insane really stoked on that a three i don't think i was expecting a three on that i don't even have it down here but i thought it was going to be lower but now that i look at it whew, whoo oh what a sick card okay oh man what are you gonna cover hank aaron that is so good looking gosh that is sick oh my gosh this is ridiculous all right this next card is ridiculously sick i'm a huge leo derocher uh fan um i'm a huge managers fan because i read a lot of their books a lot of them come out with books and guys have written about them and i've read three probably three four books about leo derocher and, and he's also in so many books right I mean, just uh, just incredible. So I have this card, and I think I have this at oh, it's right here. Five point five is a really really good eye appeal. I was actually not. I was, was hoping they weren't gonna. They might hurt it with a stain or something. So I don't know. Four point five. Look at that. So I had five point five, but you know, I was shooting for the moon. It looked really really nice. Wow. No copyright line, Leo DeRocher, which I have no idea what that means. But I didn't put that on there. I saw that when they I had no idea. Oh, yeah, there's a, normally a copyright right there. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have another one in front of me, but okay, makes sense. That's cool. I don't know. Is this one more rare? I'm going to find out. <laughs> they caught that. I did not. So that's really cool. So plus, plus on SGC. Oh, man. That, so that's a collection card. Man, a lot of these are going to my collection. <laughs> I always like, I'm going to be selling so many of these. <laughs> now everyone I see, I want to keep. This is trouble. All right, covering up Ernie Banks. All right, next card here. Well, I'm going to take a, I'm going to take a replenish my drink break. So intermission right here. Time out. I'll pause it. Be right back. You guys won't even notice. I'm back. Dude, you know what I'm realizing is I would if I was doing this by myself, I'd be going way slower. <laughs> I would take so much more time doing this. I'd probably scan each one as I went. Oh, oh, actually I don't need to scan these. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. But I, then I would I would make sure I add the grading feed to each one of these cards in my database and put the grade in and and the serial number and flip them over to my graded card. Uh, Excel spreadsheet. So I'm trying. I'm. I. I don't care. I'm just. You want to keep watching? Then good. Uh, I. I can't tell you guys enough how exciting getting graded cards is to me. It's like, it's just awesome. Cause he's. Yeah. It's just awesome. And it's like turning, kind of to me. It's like also turning cardboard into, 
like dollar bills sitting in front of you and like if you need it i could get it quick not that i'm talking to anyone into grading cards this is my thing this is for my collection everyone can do their own thing of course but just how, how i feel so uh, i just love doing this so next card right here 1952 this is a super famous gus zernial 1952 tops card where he has all the bats and they're actually hammered in on top of it and i graded this a three and i got a three. Oh, another jammer and i wanted this for my collection and this is going to be going in my collection and this dude this is uh james elite hunter inspiration to get this graded uh because he's shooting for the 1952 top set and i've been looking at my 1952 tops and i've been selling some that i that i'm not attracted to anymore you know like you know some off-centered stuff and looking at you know putting some of the other ones i had in slabs so i started with this one because it's just an iconic card i love i've loved this card since i was a kid what a sick card look at that so those were nailed on there all those balls and what is it six home runs i, I think the whole thing is he was going for seven home runs um in two games gosh man i don't know something some home run record so look it up uh but it's awesome card we'll put you over the maze man sorry maze all right this one's a sick card this is another collections card sorry guys it's not going for sale here either 1964 hank aaron willie mays combo card this bad boy right here um top of my memory uh, i think it was gonna it has a crease in it so this would be a lower grade for sure uh, what did i do with it well i'll flip it over and i'll find it later a two okay yeah i think i have this at like a 2.5 or something um there's a crease in it but it's really got good eye appeal it's not worth selling a card that is gonna go for well i don't know this might go for 60 bucks if i did a buy it now who knows i might end up selling this card i don't know it looks really good for a two it's kind of fun to you know what I'm, it's so fun to have twos that look really good i mean if i have twos in in super old cards why not have them in these too so i'll probably keep this one that's sick plus i've had it you know raw i've got it all right louise you're getting covered all right, next one is thus one of the best cards in this whole group. This one I'm so excited about. This was a present from Doug Decon on YouTube, my friend. And this was a Ted. This is a Ted Williams and Ted Klazutsky, Mr. Sleeveless, Home Run King. And I graded this a six. This is a really good eye appeal card. Love this card. 5.5. Perfect Look at that. I was nervous about this, but then I looked on all of these cards and it's actually in the image. Totally thought it was a pinhole when I got when I got it after I looked at it. And then I knew it didn't go all the way through, but I thought it was some kind of like maybe it closed up. But then once I looked at the card and I focused in on that, every single one of them has it. So just a beautiful card. Doug, this is sick oh my gosh thank you again so now i can put this not that i couldn't put it on my wall before but now it, it'll be up there with my other ones i've got a whole row going what a sick card that one's going right over the mantle that's my favorite so far out of the whole group that is just insane okay next one what a beautiful card this is uh roberto clemente roberto clemente 1958 tops i graded this a four this has really good color one of the brightest that are out there but it's really off-centered four that's what i got it's got really nice corners there's no creases really really pretty card let me put this up a little more there we go really really pretty card I will be selling this and I will probably be doing an auction on this. I do not own this card, but I really want this card centered. Um, but man, what a beautiful card.
So just fun to see. So yeah, four and four, super stoked. So put, I will put that up for sale. Put that right over that guy. Yeah, I'm not selling that to Hank Aaron. No way. That's my collection. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this. Another Roberto Clemente. This is a sick one right here. 1959 tops. This one has a crease in it. I remember it being a crease, yeah. So I got this a two. And I don't have this card. And I'm going to sell this card. Probably be a buy it now. But I will be selling it. 1.5. So what do I have it at a two? So there we go. It's got a crease in it. And it's it's like one of those creases that once you see it, you're like, man, how did I not see that before? I saw this when I bought it, so I didn't pay a lot for this card. But there is a crease on it. I just don't remember exactly where at the moment. I can't see it. So another one of those things, you right? Dude, if you're okay with off-centered cards and a beautiful image, and that's all you want is a beautiful image, this card is stunning. So there's a lot to be said for that. You know, it, it, and, and it's not that fact. It's not like to me, I'm not keeping this in my collection, but I'm not ashamed of it by any means, but it's not how my collection is going. And I, and I want to love every card I have when I look at it. Um, so if you can love this card, man, it's awesome. This is, this is going to be an inexpensive card and any Clemente collector or any vintage, you know, ultimate hall of famer collector right here i love it I, i'm stoked on it looks really good i just want to keep it now <laughs> i'm talking myself out of my own collection oh no i'm selling it i'm selling the other one that's just how it's got to be i can't have every card in the world and I'll, you know what i've been buying cards and i gotta sell some stuff more so i gotta just keep selling Right here, Home Run Leaders, 1965. So this is 64 Home Run Leaders. I don't even remember the, what this card is. Um, here we go. Right here. I got it. It's one of these. Oh, I could look right there. Oh, this is the one with the mantle on it. Oh, yeah, 65 tops. Oh, yeah, I got two of these. And this is number three. I got this at a 5.5. This is really nice eye appeal. This is going in my collection. Oh, yeah, I know this card. This is sick right here five all right i'll take it i said 5.5 really nice eye appeal it's not perfectly dead centered but i've had this card you know raw and i and i've you know i, I want to just keep it I, I love it super epic super epic card where's that guy going going over gus oh no they're crashing. I got to rebuild my, <laughs> I got to rebuild these displays. I used extra wood and did not think that through. They're pretty tippy. All right, here we go. Here's a 1967. So this is a 1967 tops with 1966 RBI leaders cards on it. And it's got Aaron Clemente, Alan Mays and Bill White. So this guy right here. And where is that bad boy? Oh, I gotta put these out of the way. 19. Where is that card? Oh, here it is. Right here. Oh, no, that's not it. Well, when I come to it, I can't remember what I graded this. Somewhere. Flip it over. 3.5. Yeah, that makes sense in my mind. Where is it? Oh, this is it. Right here. 4.5. So maybe there was a crease I didn't see. So I missed it by a point. But so what? Really nice card. Um, this one's staying in my collection. Really well centered. Really good eye appeal. Love this card. Who cannot love? I, mean, I know there's guys that don't, but combo cards. They tell history on the card themselves and they have the greatest players to ever live on some of these things. I just love combo cards. I I will never sell all my com I mean I'll never sell my my combo cards I keep in my collection. I, I, I just want if there's one thing that I could collect everything of, if I just if I had only one choice and I could only collect either base cards or 
combo cards forever. I would just buy combo cards forever. If I only had one choice, that's me. I've always been fascinated with them. I love everything about them. So that would be my choice. That's one way to put it right there. I never thought about that. Only one choice. Oh, you guys are about to see a bench rookie, 1968 tops. This is going to be a lower number, low, low number. Low grade. I want to say I graded this a three. Where is that bench? There it is. Got it right here. Oh, a four. So maybe not super low. Oh, yeah. Off-centered, but really nice. Now that I'm remembering it. Off-centered, really nice. Great centering on the back. Three. What did I say? A four. So I'm off by a grade. I was shooting for the stars. I think I graded this a long time ago. I don't know. But regardless, still a nice looking bench rookie. It's still a ben a Johnny Bench rookie. I guarantee you, I'm putting this thing up for sale. You know, this thing, I bet you could have this for under a hundred dollars. I'm putting this up at 99 cents, and I'm telling you right now, I bet you under 100 bucks, no problem. You can have a Johnny Bench rookie card graded by SGC, and looks really, really nice to the eye. Just these these things hide a lot of damage. These 68s, everyone talks about. I've always talked about like centering as well. It hides centering very well. Everything, colored borders are easier to have off-centered cards. So I'll put that up for sale, 99 cents this weekend, Saturday, Sunday. It's going. It's out of here. Johnny Bench. Ricky card. Oh, next one. Collection card, guys. 1971 tops. Nolan Ryan playing for the New York Mets. This one, I think I ended up giving it a four even. Yeah, I got it right here. Four. This is guaranteed to get a four off eye appeal in my opinion, but there is a it, there is a chance that it gets a 3.5. Boom. Look at that's what I said, just because of that. Boom. 3.5. Eye appeal, this is a four all the way. Um, it's not like super dark. It's got some wear. It's not, you know, like when you play with these 71s, they get faded a little on the edges. Um, but as a collector, as a collection, dude, you could probably have this card for $100. I'm keeping this for my collection, probably less than that. Um, this is one I bought for 20 bucks raw. And I showed this on my channel at one time. So it's just a really beautiful card, probably in the $65 range in this grade, I'd say. And I would gladly display this on my wall. It's really, really nice looking. Love centering. I, I really do. I love it. So sick. Nolan Ryan. I love. Oh my gosh. Well, you know what? I might just go with too much weight on these things. Take some down. I'll leave them empty because I got more room. You stack these really fast. Japanese baseball cards. Super epic. All right. Well, I know there's a max now. Don't stack 20. <laughs> Put that up. And if you're coming late, you can see those other ones. Okay, those are done. Oh, my gosh. Oh, sick. 1973 tops. Willie Mays. Um, this one. What? Are, I was thinking this is a four. Let's see. Where did I put that thing? Oh, no, five. Last playing day year card for Willie Mays. I will be selling one of my 73s, whether it's this one or uh, I think I have two more. I'm going to look. Um, but I will be having one up for sale. But it's probably going to be a buy it now. And it's probably going to be higher than what you probably should pay. So <laughs> probably don't buy this one from me. A four. Look at the eye appeal. Yeah, I'll probably end up keeping this one and selling the one I have, which is a higher grade. And that one I might actually do as an auction. Might get, wow, this is nice. They just look so good in these tuxedos. I can't lie. Oh, you know, I'd probably be doing the same thing over PSAs when they come in. I've never opened up a box that I received from PSA. I always had people send them in for me. But man, that's sick. Woo, I might go up for sale. I got to look at my other one. 
to determine that. Next one's gonna be a Nolan Ryan 73. Yes, I have two of these. Oh my gosh. Hold on. My mouth is like the desert. Plus, I'm enjoying this little vacation night because I was sick for four days on Christmas Day and three days before, like deathly sick. I had some, I cooked, I think I cooked some bad calamari and I was out. I was dusted. Four days of laying down. I, I worked for three hours during the middle of it and I almost killed myself. So that's because I had to. But man, okay, here we go. Coming out of my fog. The last two days been surfing, and so I'm having a cocktail right now, and I'm just enjoying it. Nolan Ryan. So I have two of these. These are super sick Nolan Ryan cards. I love the 73, and you guys have to know why, because he's playing for the Angels. So sick, so I got two sixes. So I got another one coming, and we'll see. I, I, keep think, I, I have a feeling I graded these a while ago. And they were suspicious because there's like a couple miniature stains on them that I weren't sure if they were prints. Five. All right. So I won't be – I don't think I'll be selling these because it's just like a $35 card. So if you're buying cards, like I'm not going to sell this on eBay because it makes no sense. I'll, I'll just get too many fees. I've experimented with lower graded cards. It's just not worth it. So I'll keep this thing in my collection, stack them up, and I'll probably bring them to the National and use them for trade. I got a stack going for trades at the national. I'm really excited about doing trades like that because it saves money and it's just more fun. So I'm super excited. So this will be a trade trade bait. Yeehoo! No one right. So I had that as a six, came back as a five. I could have graded that a year ago, three years ago, four years ago. I have no idea. Doesn't matter. This one right here, super far off centered. I had another six. And I got a 4.5. So I even did, did even worse on this one. So I got smoked on this. So yeah, I, I was actually worried there were some stains on them. But these are really good cards to trade. And if, say I live next to somebody, if I was a kid, these would be cards I'd trade with my friends. $30 cards. So back then they'd be $3 cards. I would love to trade these. So these will be trade bait. So anybody wants to trade for these. Trades are hard. I understand that because I'm very particular. I like centered cards and certain things just like you guys do. Anybody out there has their own opinions and things. So it's tough. So I'll be using those as trade. I won't be selling those just because they're not worth selling. And right here, this is the 73. Oh, this one's going to my collection. This is a sick card. Shout out to John Mangini. He has a picture of himself holding this card as a kid his only childhood photo of himself holding a baseball card is with this card in hand you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna cut this and put this into my john mangini video that i made um for his vr after i do this dude this card's sick well centered oh, hold on before i flip it over this is the this could be considered the greatest leaders card of all time easily be considered that um it's it it has the greatest players of all time in my opinion it's you got babe ruth hank aaron willie mays ted williams those are my guys right there i mean it i guess that would probably be my top four right there order wise i i would gosh man you put me on the spot i'd be um hank aaron would be at the top Ted Williams, Babe Ruth, and Willie Mays. That's so silly, right? Stats-wise, it's not even close, but I don't care. I'm not talking that. Right in the moment, gun to my head, that's what I would have chose. Look at this, baby. Four! Yee-wee! Stoked on that. And I... Where did I put that? Oh, I said I was going to get a four. Another matcher right there. See, you guys, not that hard to grade cards. You, 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 if you're up or down a grade in vintage cards, who cares if you're, you know, they're, you know, you're just most of them, if you're keeping them in your collection or they're more expensive cards, like you can't be, I guess maybe someone could be perfect. I have no idea, but look at that really nice. I appeal, love this card. Well centered. Um, not looking for another one of these to buy. This is the one I'm keeping, had this card for a while and I just love it. 
That is awesome. John Mangini, there you go. Childhood card. Oh, you guys, this one's sick. Mantle card coming out of the gates. This is a 1960s Topps Mantle card with Ken Boyer, who was no slouch himself. Could be a hall, future Hall of Famer, possibly. I graded this a four. Look at this one. This, isn't ha this is well-centered. I bought this raw. So here's a story about this one. I bought this one on eBay, okay? But I bought this from my friend and one of the old guys. He's probably, he's within 65 to 70 years old. And his name is Dennis. And I buy cards from him at my local card show. And him and one other friend I have, they're both old guys like that. And they were pulling cards like this back in the day, buying these out of packs. This card, I don't, I don't think he got this out of a pack, but I'm going to ask him. I actually haven't even asked him, but I bought this on eBay from his store. Even though he had it at the card show for that price, I just didn't want it. I saw that he listed it because I, I was hoping he was going to keep it for a while. Bought it for 35 bucks and I, I paid full price. This is probably worth about 55 once it comes back graded. I'm not selling this from my collection. A four is what I wanted. That's what I got. A four. Aced another one. Aced it. Really good eye appeal. Really nice card. Really stoked on it. And the most important thing for me is this card came from my friend who lives on the same. I just got a phone call and I, I answered it by mistake. So I had to I cut it out. I was trying to push the button, but it's in this little square. But yes, this this Ken Boyer Mickey Mantle card, 1960 tops, going in my collection, going on my wall. Just an awesome combo card. Woo, combo cards. Another slam for the combo cards. You guys, if you're not buying combo cards, you're missing out on all the fun. I mean, combo cards tell the history. You don't have to read a book. You got it right there on the page. 1961 Willie Mays. This one right here. Is going up for sale. This is Willie Mays' ugliest card on record. I will go on record saying that. I had this card way back for like 20 years in a seven. I sold it a year before the pandemic or two years before the pandemic. And I just didn't like the card, so I sold it. And I've had this one raw, so I knew I had another one or I bought another one. I can't remember, but I didn't like it. So I got it. 4.5. What do I had? This come back at a five, so... Very close. Really good eye appeal as far as the image. It's very off-centered. Gives it your 4.5. Good corners. There's no creases in this bad boy. Um, going up for sale for sure. In my opinion, ugliest um, Willie Mays card. I just... Uh, it's just like a lot of 61s where they don't have the hats. They're just not attractive without their hats on as if you're a baseball card collector because there's no logo anywhere on this card. So I really want to see it. Now, I love 61 because it's elegant. It's like this really well done set. But a lot of the cards look like this. And sorry, Willie, that that's just not your greatest card. You're very, very serious, very into being the greatest you know arguably statistically the greatest baseball player to ever live um so i know why you're you have photos that you're so serious all the time and it's cool that's all right i'm okay with it look at that one that might be your best photo of all time right there now that i look at your images that's sick i didn't even think about that that's a very nice image and your last card Woo! that's sick okay 61 going up for sale for sure Mickey Mantle, 1961 Tops, coming up. So I had this as a two. I believe this one has a crease in it. It doesn't have the worst eye appeal you've ever seen. doesn't have the best, but um, I bought this card from a, a friend of mine, local collector, and I did not pay very much for this card because of the condition it was in. But 1961 Tops Mickey Mantle is one of the greatest Mickey Mantle cards you can own because of that season um and i believe the card is really a just a beautiful looking card i love this year 
So I can't, you know, I can't say anything negative about this card whatsoever. I wonder if you guys are hearing that phone call coming in. I can't deny it because it's like in the way. Hold on. I will deny it. I will. All right. Boom. I don't even have to edit that out. Back to it. I got to turn off that. <laughs> okay. So this guy right here. 1961. I'm not selling this at the moment. Because it's one of those cards I picked up raw from a, a friend of mine, a local collector. And it is not ugly. It's not crazy off-centered. but it, it And it's had some love. And a two. Comes back as a two. So two, two. Boom. So, you know, a two. I think this is a fair price I would put on this at, at, if I were to sell this. A $200 price point. If I were to yeah, buy it now, I'd probably be at like $245. Um, I'm just talking about this because I like selling baseball cards, but you know, at a, this is probably a fair price around a $200 range. Just my thoughts about, you know, when you sell, you know, Mickey Mantle cards, they're affordable, 200 bucks. You could get a 61 Mickey Mantle. It looks like this. No, it's not perfect. It is off centered. I bet you can get a centered one in a two for 250. You just look round at corners. I mean, it's not easy. I'm looking. Centered cards are like parallels. They're like parallels on top of grade parallels. You know, like high grades are parallels. Well, centered cards are parallels within the card itself. I tell you, to find a centered card is like got to be one in 40 cards that were produced back then. I have no idea. I'm totally guessing. But off my experience, experience looking... So this one's going on my wall. I love this thing. I probably spent five minutes on it. I just love it. 1961 Mickey Mantle. I, it's like one I never thought in, a whole, in my entire lifetime that I'd own a Mickey Mantle card, you know, back when I was a kid. So every time I get a Mickey Mantle card, oh, it, it just blows my mind. And not that I'm getting that now for the first time, but grading these and receiving it again, it's like getting the card again. I know it's weird for you non-grader grading fans out there, but us grading fans totally get that. So here's a Dan Bankhead, 1950 Bowman. This is 51 Bowman, actually. Yeah, 51 Bowman. 51 Bowman, Dan Bankhead. The first, I got this at a six. First African-American pitcher to ever pitch in the major league in history. Well, I can't say history. Um, but in the, in, in the era of when the major league baseball, I don't know. I don't know how to say it, but Dan Bankhead, you, you guys need to read about Dan Bankhead. I have heard him in numerous books, never read a book specifically on him, but he struggled in the game because he was scared he was going to hit someone and, and and suffer some consequences for it. So Dan Bankhead is a guy that I, I just respect and admire for what he accomplished for the sport and for humanity itself. So Dan Bankhead, I wanted to get this graded in my collection. I graded it as six. I have two of these cards. Uh, I'm shooting for the moon. Six. Look at that. Beautiful. Six. Six. What an awesome card. It's a card everyone should have in their collection. Um, absolutely. Like Jackie Robinson, you know, he's not, but, you know, he's the first pitcher. The first guy to throw at batters, you know, like this is the first pitcher right here in the history behind him struggling to do so. So stunning card going on my wall. Another one I'm going to add, I'm going to have a section on my wall. I just... I'm really looking forward to putting, doing more things on my wall and, and doing this whole thing has been so fun. This whole YouTube experience, because it's like really pushed me to bring the history to, I mean, I always had the history to life on my wall, but even watching other guys, how they organize their cards and, and I just have more ideas flowing because there's inspiration out there. So shout out to the inspiration out there. So last card of the night, you guys. 1965 look at how faded the back is well this might be way lower grade than i initially thought 
This is a really epic leader's card. I don't remember 100% if I'm selling this card. I got to look. I, I think I I think I'm keeping this in my collection. This might be the centered one. 3.5. Mickey Mantle. I mean, come on, guys. Mickey Mantle card. You could probably buy this card for $40, $35. A Mickey Mantle card. Three. Boom. Perfect. I had a 3.5. Three. This one's going to my collection. It's like one of those threes that you just look at and you're like, right here, that could be uh, six right here that could be a seven and then a foot away where you always are standing when you're looking at a display it could be a a nine <laughs> so i'm really that's the focus i'm going for god look at that card 1964 rbi leaders brooks robinson dick stewart mickey mantle Harmon kilbrew stunning card three Okay, I guess that's it, you guys. I've made it through. Man, I'm done with it. Oh, I'm like bummed. Oh, I didn't want it to end. Well, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And a lot of these will be up for sale. Um, and if some of them are trade. And if you want to trade for things, hit me up. Um, I'm down for trades. Trades are not easy and it takes a lot of texting. I like centered vintage cards. Any mega hall of famer top 10 hall of famer guys i'm 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 narrowing it down even deeper or rookie cards second year cards and i'm also going for any 90s inserts cards that are autographed autographed 90s insert cards i'm really going after so i mean meaning i have two of them <laughs> but i want more and i would trade for more so if you guys are interested shoot me up you shaka